One of the best features of custom framing is obviously being able to size the frame to fit perfectly to your artwork. To achieve that, we first need to come up with accurate dimensions for whatever it is you're framing. To start, we need to select a measuring tool. A ruler or yardstick is fine to use, and so is a tailor's measuring tape. Just make sure you're using the correct unit of measurement since these usually have a side for inches and a side for metric. Today we're going to use this contractor's measuring tape. Next, we want to make sure we don't get our width and our height confused. The width describes the measurement from left to right, and the height describes the measurement from top to bottom. It's helpful to have a pen and paper ready so you can write down the measurements as you take them. Some measuring tools have a little extra space at the beginning, so make sure you're starting at the zero mark. Starting with the width, we have a measurement of 12 and 5 eighths. To break it down, this is our half inch line. Then we have quarters, eighths, then sixteenths. The edge of our paper hits the eighth inch line, so we can count how many eighths there are here. Next, we'll measure the height, which is 17 and 5 eighths. If your artwork has a border, then there are a few ways you can treat it depending on the final look you want. When it comes to adding a mat, you have to consider not only the paper size, but also the image size. This print has an image size of 6 by 6 inches and a paper size of 8 by 8 inches. We could frame it with the entire border showing, in which case we just need the paper size. However, if you'd like to cover the border with the matting, you need to base your mat window opening off of the image size, which is 6 by 6. Just make sure whatever mat width you choose, it's wider than the border of the artwork so you can avoid trimming your print. If your print has information in the margins, like a signature or addition number, then we'll need to show some of the border rather than covering it completely. To figure out our matte window opening, we need to start with the image size again. For this print, it's 4 and 7 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths. Next, we have to figure out how much of the border we want to show. To do that, let's measure from the edge of the image to where we want the mat to sit, right under the widest part of the signature. It looks like 5 eighths will be perfect for this. If you need help visualizing, you can use a piece of paper to stand in for where the mat will sit. Now we can go ahead and add that to our image size. So from left to right, we're going to add 5 eighths, plus 4 and 7 eighths for the image width, plus 5 eighths again. And from top to bottom, we'll do the same thing. That gives us a window size of 6 and 1 eighth by 8 and 1 eighth. As you can see, that creates an even border all around, which has enough space to accommodate the signature. If your signature is rather large and you don't want to create a wide border around the entire print, you can instead create a weighted look by choosing a smaller border on the top and sides and a larger one on the bottom. Keep in mind, you can use this technique on any print with a border. If you want to do this for purely aesthetic reasons, you can simply decide how much of the border you want to show. We recommend showing at least a quarter of an inch. Now you're ready to enter your artwork dimensions on our site and get to the fun part, which is designing your frame. You'll notice that we automatically include a quarter inch overlap in all of our mat window calculations. However, if you have a specific window size that you need to achieve, you can bypass this by adding a half inch to the width and a half inch to the height before entering it on the site. Or you can send us a chat to give your desired mat window openings to a Level Frames team member who will get everything set up for you. We hope you found this guide helpful. As always, the Level Frames team is standing by to help you with any and all of your framing needs. Happy framing!